What's happening, fam? LAR Movement Still Moving. Book entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father. Amazon Kindle Create Space. Enabling Losers and Abandoning Winners. You know, this is the black community, a problem with the black community, not the complete black community. You know, this goes for. You know, our progression or regression, this goes for um, the way we treat relationships with men and women and women and men. And this goes for parenting. So let's get into it, right? First thing, enabling losers as the community goes. Everybody has the same kind of thing where you have a certain liking to certain kids and certain individuals. Not to say all of these people that are enabled wind up being losers, but a lot of them do. Because when we like somebody, we don't have an eye for talent. And we usually enable the people who don't have a work ethic. You know, reward people who are Maybe good people, but horrible when it comes to producing. You know, always give them something. You know, give them give, give them something to make them feel important, feel special. Give them another gift. Give them another chance. You know, they mess up in school. Give them give them give them a makeup quiz. You know, give, always give 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 because they're likable. The whole while undermining them to ever evolve and get better through adversity or be responsible for their actions and have to deal with them. So what winds up happening is they grow into losers. At the same time, the kids that you that are not as likable or or just maybe consistent are ignored. And, and I've said it before, they go under the mantra of they're going to be all right. They're a good kid. They're smart. You know, they're going to make it in life. But at the same time, you're not admitting that you just don't like that kid like the likable loser. And then that kid doesn't get a pass. That kid doesn't get gifts for good behavior. That kid doesn't get, you know, second chances. That kid doesn't get to 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 do some kind of makeup work to get their their grades right if they if they slipping. That's always a zero tolerance policy with them. Which for them it hardens them but makes them work harder and more efficiently to, to be on point or keep it together. And they become a winner. You probably didn't see it coming because you were too busy ignoring them because they weren't as likable as the kid you liked. So when they become adults, you know, you look looking around and you're saying, why is our community in shambles? And you don't realize you're surrounded by likable losers who you, who you enable. And then you turn around and you say, where are the good people who can, where are the talented, smart hard-working, productive people who can who can generate money in, in a business-minded and in a developer mindset, where are they at? They all left the community. Why are they not coming back? Is it because you abandoned them at every chance you got because they wasn't likable? And now they don't want nothing to do with y'all. You know, that's, that's really where it happens. Now, the same thing happens with parenting because that's what the community does parents have the kids that you know then they're just mischievous that's what I call them they're not really bad they're mischievous and they wind up being bad but they're just so cute they just so funny you know they challenge the, the, the authority. They, 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 they're kind of lively. they just, you know, kids being kids. And 
instead of correcting, even even when it's innocent, but it's bad behavior. Instead of correcting it, you you, you just kind of let it slide and let it slide. You know, they go out in public and get in trouble, or get in trouble in school. You defend their bad behavior. You know. You believe everything is that they did, they can do no wrong, even when you know for a fact that they're mischievous. And they grow to be mischievous teenagers and bad adults. And then they somewhere pulling a B&E or selling dope. And you're trying to say, you know, they're a good person. You know, sometimes you have these people on the Internet who are, Film and other people do shit, but then if you do a backstory on them or people know them, they be like, you know, they always in the shit. So now, now they want to pull out their camera because they don't want to get their head busting, but they always in the shit. But on the reverse side of that parenting, you you have that, you know, you know better than that. You a better kid than that. How dare you? And if they deal, if they deal with um, being bullied or racism in school or teachers picking on them or they get angry and lash out because they're tired of people trying to dump on them all of a sudden they're not believable they're not liars they're honest kids they're good kids they're just not pushovers but because they're not pushovers and they stand up for themselves and they're not mischievous what happens you know everybody dumps on them parents included because you know, they're not likable losers. You know, they gonna go somewhere, so the standards gotta be super high. You you can never act up. You can never speak up for yourself. You can never stand up for yourself. You you always gotta keep your head down and be ignored and take everybody else's shots. You know, that's what it takes to get ahead in life. And then when they grow up, go to the military, college, trade school or whatever, graduate. They come back and, you know, this is my such and such that's a doctor, a lawyer. This is my such and such that's just a good middle class person. Or this is a successful person in the family. This is the one that we all proud of that we doing good for. And then, and how come they never come around? Well, <laughs> they never come around because the likable loser kids that they were, that it's siblings and cousins you know, and family with, y'all are still paying their bills, paying their child support, taking care of their kids while they got somebody else on child support, you know, enabling their, their, their drinking habits and drug habits, telling them they're doing good when you know they're fucking up, and at the same time asking, wanting to on the low ask the successful kid for money. To, to fund all of this shit. It doesn't work well, you know, so they don't come around because you left them hanging and they had to, you know, you was putting money on on the bad kids' bail money and leaving the good kids to fend for themselves with college loans. Just saying. This goes into the relationships. You know, the likable losers are, are, the, are the people that people are attracted to. They, they got... Say if, it, if it's guys, girls like, you know, he's attractive, I'm attracted to him, he got swag. He, to other guys, he could be a dusty looking motherfucker, you know. He's this, he's that, and you see a guy who, he's a loser. But you can't say he's a loser because she's starstruck. She's just in love with the loser. And she does all these things for the loser. She, she puts all this effort to, to be with this loser, to keep this loser, to keep this loser's attention, to have babies with this loser, to, to marry this loser, to... You know, forgive this loser if the loser's cheating on her. Just that her world is built around a loser. And at the same time, there was a guy who was 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 a winner that you know, he's not he's not good enough. He's not this. He's you net picked him to death. You pushed him away. And a lot of times, you know, you just weren't attracted to him. So you say, you know, and and the loser becomes more and more. The loser, the likable loser who had your attention 
as the time goes, just becomes more and more of a fuckboy and you get disgusted. The, the, the winner that you enable to nitpick and push away starts to look more and more attractive, you know. They could be fairly, pretty much look the same. Could be the same height, same build, you know. Pretty much the same guy. Could dress the same even, you know. <laughs> but you just, that's who you chose. You just chose the loser. And then what happens? You tell the, the guy that's the winner, like, hey, you know, I'm feeling you now, as if he cares, because he's probably moved on and talked to other people and with somebody. But but those those types of guys, it's like you want those guys to do everything that the loser didn't. You know, at the same time, the guy knows you like losers. Like, you keep, you're not... You're not fooling anybody. Like, you know, I need a man to do this and do that for me. You was with a guy who didn't do shit for you. And you was committed to him. He didn't do shit for you. He got you pregnant. He didn't do shit for you. Or, or his child. You married him. He didn't do shit for you. You divorced him. You ain't get shit because he didn't do shit. And now you want somebody else to do everything? The guy's like, no, thank you, baby. Uh, I'm going to go be with these chicks that, that, uh, uh, that, that I like. You know, I, I'll take my chances with other people. And... You know, that, that's when all men ain't shit. And then us fellas, we do the same shit, you know. We date the likable losers. She, she fine. She got a fat ass. Damn, she make my dick hard. Ooh, that motherfucker just a dime. But she don't do shit. She just a pretty face, some nice titties and a fat ass and a tight dress. She don't cook, she don't clean, she don't care about you, <laughs> you know, she's always in your pocket, you always got to take her somewhere, and when, she, when you take her somewhere, she's always advertising for some other motherfucker, not necessarily you, because it's one thing about looking sexy for your man, it's another thing, looking so sexy, everybody else is kind of eyeballing you, and, and these suckers, dudes taking... Shot such a girl, and you're like, I'm gonna have to kill her one of these motherfuckers. Every night I got to fight to prove my love. But meanwhile, it's the girl that you knew that, you know, she's cute. She damn, she's really sexy. But you ain't feeling her. You know? She's just the girl from up the block. You know? She, she kind of got a fat ass, but, you know... I don't think she a freak like I like it, you know. Ah, oh, she wear glasses. Ah, oh, she she in the she 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 not into that. She don't she don't want to she don't twerk, you know. Uh, I mean she she kind of handle her business and it's grown and now she paying her bills and doing her things and working and she's cooking and cleaning and you know she can help you with your taxes and at the same time <laughs> she got a clean house and. She'll fix you a nice meal when you come through. She'll give you some kind words when you're down, you know. And then you say, you know what? I've been I've been fucking with these hoes, baby. I need to get down with you. And she's like, nah, pimp. I don't think so, pimp. Because, see, I've been watching you for a minute. And you like them hoes. Because you want that hoe shit. You like them lose-ass chicks. You like them dumb, fat-ass, gold-digging Useless ass chicks, and I'm not like that. And you're not finna try to turn me into that because I got my shit together. I'm I'm, I'm handling my business. Here. I ain't got time to be out here fucking around, getting my hair done every two days. You know, getting new weaves and getting new shoes and getting new purses to advertise to 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 to, to work my way up the ladder to get another baller. I'm get I'm getting mine right now. I'm living my life. And my brother's like, fuck, can't get where the good ones at. You know where the good ones at. You ain't talk to her ass. So, at the end of the day, you know, everybody's wondering, everybody is surrounded by all of the losers that they liked. And they and, and then complaining about where the good people at. Where the, where the real, true, you know, good-hearted, genuine, sincere, down, dependable people at. You abandon them all. So you can't blame your, you can't abandon somebody and leave somebody hanging and then tell them to come, you know, come at your beck and call. You, you, you burnt that bridge. You feel me? I'm out.